My name is Theo. That's it. Yeah. That's all you're going to get. T-H-E-O. That's all you're going to get. Simple. I like to keep it simple. Uh-huh. Very simple. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Where are you from? Long story. North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. You live in North Carolina? I do. Okay. So you drove here or flew here? I drove down here. And how do you know Raquel? So me and Raquel are from the same community mm-hmm. um, under Coach Katrina. And uh, yeah, that's how we know each other. I did her, um, I did a coaching session with her. And she's like, okay, I need you to bring that to my event. Mm. And I need you to, to speak to my event. I was like, okay. So you are a coach? Correct. Tell us <laughs> what it is that you coach, Coach Theo. So I help people with their identity. I'm an identity coach. And yeah, essentially today I'm going to be fixing crowns, but identity coach. You is are my definitely thing. fixing crowns. So a man can fix your crown, ladies, not can. just your home girls. But I want you to tell us how do you plan on fixing crowns? Mm. Well, I'm just a facilitator. Mm. I'm just going to allow God to do his thing, and I'm going to create space for those who, who want to cr- to fix their crowns, essentially. Want to. Who want to. Keyword being wanted. Mm-hmm. Want. And they're going to get the opportunity to do so in a safe space, in a calming space, in a covered space. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that women struggle allowing men to fix their crown more than they do allowing another woman to fix their crown. It's easy to fix somebody's crown when you've been through what they've been through. It's difficult to trust someone who resembles someone who hurt you. So for a lot of women who have been hurt by men, it's difficult for them to trust that another man can come in and fix their crowns, right? But we associate a lot of things right he talked to catch this my father hurt me so how am I gonna let you another Mm. man do the same to me I'm not going to Mm. so it's it's those things that most women struggle with so they would rather let their other friends who are also with broken crowns try to put the Humpty Dumpty ordeal it's broken people can't put broken people together so they would rather stay in, in a cycle of similarities because it's comfortable. And because you don't look like somebody who hurt me, I can trust you a little bit more. So that's that's what I've that's what I've noticed. But that's just my opinion though. I could we want you to welcome to the BTA <laughs> red carpet, Sateria Brooks. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> It's popping. What's popping, guys? Oh. You guys look oh. amazing. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, it's the I padding of the there. legs. Y'all probably can't they see look she good, y'all. <laughs> they look real good. Look at them. Thank you. Yay. We wanted to bring a flare to the red carpet, but you are a sparkle. Oh. Y'all stay know how to make me. Okay. Y'all know how to make me blush and cry. So, oh. for those of you who are just tuning in, this is, in fact, our winner of yes. the ticket uh, for yes. this uh brunch experience um Sateria Brooks who you all have seen on the show uh several times um she is absolutely a joy as you can see this is a lot of personality right but we want to jump in we have a few questions for you right Mm -hmm. so you won the 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 ticket right you're here Mm -hmm. live in living color right Mm -hmm. so far Mm -hmm. right so far what do you think I think it's really amazing so far. Praise and worship was really, 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 really good. It was really good. Oh. It was really good. <laughs> think about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, it was really good in all okay. truthfulness. Um, well, I don't even know her name. What's it, Lois? Lo- Lois? Lois. 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 I'm sorry Lois. if I screwed it up. Lo- oh, but, baby, oh. she sung. She really did. She, she put her best foot forward. But I'm waiting mm-hmm. on my sister. My sister, Lily. That's my sister. That's, Y'all don't know her. Uh-huh. That's, I'm waiting on her. Too. That's who you're waiting on. Mm-hmm. Are you waiting to hit the flow? Mm-hmm. Cause that's my sister. I had we had to put y'all both mics. Uh huh. But that's my sister, Lily. See y'all, y'all hear her name. Her name, Lily. Lily. Her name, Lily. Her, her real name, Leandria. Listen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Leandria gonna be here. She gonna take her shoes I'm like, off. I'm like, who and is Lily? She is going. To we sang a light. That's why we sisters. Very good. And 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 I like to piggyback with you to say that I, I we we all three of us we sound yeah, we like all, her too. That's, that's our sister. Mm hmm. Uh huh. So you just gonna smile. <laughs> 
<laughs> she don't be with the shit. <laughs> Everybody listen, really, really, really good. listen, we sing all the time around these we parts, do. and you can catch a good part. tune on BTA on Sundays with Men's Satiria, you know, when we on, you know, yes. I take the bottom note. Join in. Yeah. Needs to be adding, like, you should join in. Shantae really be wanting to join in in real life. I take the bottom note. Yeah, and I take the top. So you about, take the top? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ren and I, 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 Sometimes I got to bring it down. I got to bring it down sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I got to take the middle optic. But yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. So she's saying all three. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the same time. All imagine it. it. And it'd be my vibrato. <laughs> so let <laughs> Thank you, Satiria. Oh, so oh, God. She married. Oh, come on, back up. She met back up. <laughs> <laughs> coach Latoya Kite, who's also a coach to get your life. Tell them how they can find you. All right, I am Coach Toya K on Instagram, TikTok, and Latoya Kite on Facebook. Tell us, so far, how are you enjoying this event? It's really, really good. It's really good. You know, listen, I go to a lot of these things, right? But this right here is an experience for real. You know, I see the work, I see the detail, I see the greatness that they put into it, and I am very proud of everyone involved because this is definitely a production that you are going to get fed from catch that get fed from not just experience no preaching uh-huh okay she told preach. me not to preach so preach. i'm just saying preach. <laughs> I'm just she saying. brought it in did you see her hand she brought it in like she was on the stage no preaching uh-huh uh -huh. okay they have to reel me back all the time because i be preaching but i'm just saying you know we we see these things but it's amazing it's really really great and better come and better. on That's like wine Oh, finally. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm going to step back a little bit. Let me fuck it in so y'all can see. Okay, I said I was going to behave. I am Tori Lundy, also known as mandatory, a required presence. Absolutely. There is none better in the northeast, south, or west of the United States of the world. And I said it just like I said it. Period. Period. But no, seriously, we are here at Fit Your Crown. I'm your hostess with the mostest, the best in the world. God said so. And I am um, just want to say, like I love what Raquel is doing with the theme with the mantra yes. with what it says to who we are what we want to do and because of what God has called like we are kings and queens of the yes. most high mm -hmm. so to have a name as I mean a theme or a um, topic or however you want to say it as fits your crown I think it's so appropriate for what we're going through at everybody if if I'm not mistaken and I'm sure everybody that's going to watch this kind of test yes right now life is life and for everybody yes, life for everyone for in one way shape or form but God is God and so to like tell us a fits our crown is basically like girl get back in the ring like remember yes. who you belong to like remember the God in you so I always fits in my crown I'm excited about today I get to stand next to sparkle and sparkle and I mean, it is amazing. I just came up with it. Y'all like that? Okay, 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 okay. But no, we're going to have an amazing time. Fix your crown. Um, the Holy Spirit is in the building. Yes. We are expecting God to show up down and show out we are expecting the holy spirit to break some yokes so that deliverance can like real deliverance yes. not the kind of yes. deliverance that you get off on friday and come back on monday yes. but the kind that shake off for yes. the rest of your life so i'm expecting god to do a new thing in me and take us higher in him so that we can do what we were created for and that's to bring more and more people on the side of God, on. not straddling the fence. Amen. Amen. All right. I'll... She preached. You know, so it was she a, the don't rule need was no preaching us. on the BTA red carpet. Well, honey, we couldn't rules. even stop her. But I'm a rule breaker. I love y'all. I really do. Oh, like in real you. life, not for faith. <laughs> but you can find me on all social media platforms. Tori London. That's T O R I L U N D Y. You can also find me. My website is It's Mandatory. That's I T S M A N D A T O R I dot com and my Facebook got hacked most recently. You know, everybody want to be Tori Lundy. But um, I created... <laughs> I created a new page for Tori Lundy, but my old one still says Lily Allen. He's a lily in the valley. We're going to just find the good in all of that. It's the ad libs for me. It's you. I mean, but no, seriously. So you can find me there. I'm always somewhere at some event. I love the way God has like created so many opportunities and opened so many doors. And I'm realizing like I'm busy like not just on the weekends but during the weekdays. I've been traveling. So yeah, I'm excited about what God is doing in my life. Y'all find me, follow me, book me for your wedding, yes. receptions, baby showers. You name. See these women here. 
Listen, do y'all see them? <laughs> they are freaking gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on this red carpet. It's so beautiful right here. It's like a whole nother world in this world that we're in. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I am your girl, Katrina Nicole, and that is Nicole, not Nickel. Okay, that's Nicole, and that's N-I-C-K-H-O-L. And I am your accountability partner. I'm your business consultant. And I'm just a girl who out here doing what God has told her to do. You can find me on all platforms at Katrina. That's K-A-T-R-I-N-A. And again, it's Nicole. It's spelled a little differently because my daddy, you know, he was extra. And I think that's why I'm extra, you know. A cycle. But that's N-I-C-K-H-O-L on all platforms. YouTube, Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, all of it. Well, I... First of all, I just want to give a shout out to Raquel. Raquel, mm -hmm. the event is amazing. The title fits. There are so many women today who have their head down. You know, and you can't wear a crown if your head is tilted down. Ooh, say you know? that. But one of the things she is doing is pouring into women and making sure that their head is held up high and that their crown is on straight and that they are becoming who God has created them to be. And I love it. So the event so far today has just been beautiful. I, I seen women saying this is just so thick. The atmosphere is so yes. thick and they are so full and we are just getting started. So I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be a panelist. You know, y'all continue to search your hands this way so God can have his way today. Absolutely. You know? And we know he is going to do yes. his thing as he always does. He but does. tell us, what is something you are looking to take away today from today's experience? Um, just release. You know, um, just like Tori said prior, life is happening to, to everyone. Mm -hmm. And we just all need a place and a space to release. Yes. You know, especially as black women, mm -hmm. we carry a lot. We carry a lot of baggage. We put more, more people before ourselves than we do Absolutely. ourselves and sometimes we need an outlet we need a space to release and that's all i want to do today tell us your name hi my name is tiara walton formerly known as mazani um at one point in my life i was one of the number one entertainers in the country i have been to london dubai jamaica bahamas and i was headed to africa when the holy spirit arrested me and revealed to me what i was doing what i was guilty of and i am not guilty because of the blood of the lamb honey hey bestie hey bestie, hey, bestie. <laughs> Ooh, I would shout off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> blue off you, honey. Black blue on this ground. Mighty God. Yes. Wow. Number yes. One, number one entertainers. Number yes. One. To be completely honest, though, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. But when he grabbed me, he made sure that I was covered in grace. My book is called A Reason to Pray. Mm -hmm. It's um, a collection of prayers from A to Z. Uh, the foreword was written by Dr. Dorinda Clark Cole. So I have literally been just on a high spiritually by the grace and the mercy of God to be able to go into the depths of hell and come out. And the book says, if you take prayer into the fire, when you come out, you won't smell like smoke. So here I am. With my besties. With your new besties. Okay, so if you are tuning in now, listen. Uh, Sharice Nicole has already put this up here, but we want you to tell the listeners and the viewers where they can find you. You can find me on social media at Tiara, T-I-A-R-A-R -A -A Walton at that's my email too y'all I'm trying to get y'all to email me and everything <laughs> email me also if you need me if Absolutely. you need a prayer tiara at tiaraWalton.com. but I'm super excited and I thank you guys for your time how y'all doing Portia man let me tell you something you were speaking bars I mean <laughs> when I tell you I had no clue what I was going I had no clue what I was going to say I was like God you're gonna have to help me because when I tell y'all I'm healing in real time, I'm healing in real time. And it's fresh. So I was like, God, you're going to just, you gonna have to do it for me. Because I don't know what powerful. to say. It was powerful. It was raw. Real time healing comes with real time Everything. errors. <laughs> real time <laughs> attitudes. Sorry, that Texas came out of me. Real time attitudes, real time checking yourself, real time. Portia, it's not about you. Somebody in the audience might need to hear something from you. Yes. It's not about me. Like at the end of the day, that's what I have to tell myself. It's not about you. You are. He created you for a purpose, for his glory. So you go do that. Wow. While healing in real time. 
while healing in real time. Right. I do. I feel like I had a release. I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to give a quick story. Last night I had the worst dream of my life. My daughter and my sister had to wake me up. In my dream, I heard myself saying, help me, help me. But to them, I was like, uh, uh. Mm. And so I woke up today. I was like, oh, this personal. This, I talk to the devil like that. I'm like, oh, I got, it's big smoke with you now. It's personal. Smoke, baby. Big smoke with the devil now. It's personal yeah. for me. It's personal. Yeah. Come on, baby doll. I didn't even know. I didn't know that though. I'm just now 37 years old learning that. That's why when I woke up today, I was like, "You really, devil? You already defeated." Yes. Say that. So you can go find somebody else to play say with. Say that. I came in on good yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, come on. I came in on the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you got to get up off of us. Yeah. yeah. Today and yeah. forever. How about that? Yeah. I know that's right. Sure. <laughs> come on in, mama. Come on. Okay. In. <laughs> in the oh, let me get you. Don't know. We have both man's sisters here. Yes, we yes, have yes. Portia and Latia man. Yes. They are the daughters of, um, no, we won't identify them we by won't. that because they have their own identity. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. but yeah. it's fine. It, yes. you, you can say it, David and Tamela. That, yeah. Yeah. But we and, and she, she and Portia. She has her, this one has her mother. Right, this one right. I mean, you know, it's just, I got, they say I got a mixture. So, you know, mm -hmm. I, I take that though. Amen. But it's Tia today. It's Tia today. Yes, it was. It was Tia indeed, and we thoroughly enjoyed both of them yes as you ladies spoke we, all we could do in the back was like awe like yes. wow when you say healing in real time I'm like this is what it looks like in spite of what's happening in the room who's in the room who's watching it's like God this is what I need you got to make sure you give this to me so it's great you know what you did today Tia you said something that most people don't say I don't know I mean, sometimes you just don't have the answer, and you got to learn. I mean, it's, like I said, every day is a learning process. I mean, you're not going to know everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, because with time and you get older, like, you, you got to learn different stuff at different ages. Yeah. Right. So, Sometimes you just got to say, I don't know, but I'm willing to learn. I'll be quick to say, I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. You can ask somebody else, but I'm going to see what they answer is going to be. Right. So I'm going to be like, okay, I'm learning. Know, but I'm yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to research and, and see what I can find out for you. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, first of all, tell the people who you are. My name is Kenesha Mitchell, actor, singer, songwriter, if you, want, if you want me to be. I don't know how good the song going to be, but I'll write it. <laughs> Honestly, this is my first year, and I must say that I didn't know how much I needed the release. Some things I've been holding on to for a very long time. Unfortunately, he's um, Coach Theo said a lot of things that I I was like, get my business. I don't like that. <laughs> get out of here. Back up on me. I ain't coming to get beat up. I came here to get a word, and that's exactly what I did. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know how much I was holding on to until I was given the permission to release it. Mm. And that was important to me because I wasn't taught to just release. You taught to hold in. Uh -uh, don't do that. It's a sign of weakness. Child, I was weak today. I let all let go. And I feel lighter. I feel free like I can do this mm. and be okay not being okay sometimes. That's good. That's you good. You know what I mean? That's good. I ain't okay. I'm quick to say I'm not okay. I want me a two piece and a biscuit. A what? Two piece and a biscuit to help me with not being okay. See, that's not good. Mm -hmm. That's not good stuff. You can't do that. Yeah. And that's just, this is just me. This is who I am. Yes, it is. I really am just joyful normally, but the things that I've been through in my life has snatched that joy. But I got it back. So listen, right uh -huh. here. Mark 4. Uh huh. You like that, don't you? I that's like scripture. when you give I gave me the word. Script. I like give see, if it's right in now. the word, I can have it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, guys. I like you. you like uh, hello, everyone. I am Kimberly Foster, and I am excited to be here. I mean, this is my first time coming to this event. Um, I was invited by the amazing Katrina Nicole, and I'm telling you, just to be able to be in an environment um, where women are heard, understood, nurtured, loved, encouraged, um, not, not just encouraged in a way, you know, girl, you can do it, you got this, you are right, but encouraged to be who God created them to be. It's just amazing. So there's this thing where people think that women are catty. Mm. Women are absolutely not catty. Um, women are not mean. Women are not jealous. Women are not selfish and for themselves. Women are selfless. Mm. And I just think that people need to take the time to understand the woman um, before assuming. 
And so I, this environment is just conducive for women and them being who God created them to be, and I just love it. So thank you all for the opportunity to You are so welcome. I'm Drea. I am Beauty by Drea. I am a makeup artist, so I am responsible for doing the makeup on today. Oh, for Raquel. For Raquel. Yes, Make sense. And your makeup thank looks you. amazing oh, as you. well. Thank you are so welcome. So listen, you do makeup. Are you local? Yes, I am. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida. I um, am a traveler, but I also have a salon suite on Lane Avenue. Ma'am. So I am Beauty by Drea. That is Beauty by D R I Y A H on Instagram and Facebook. Listen, what drove you to do makeup, beauty, Ooh. and all of it? Uh huh. Let's See, talk you about it. Been crying uh -huh. all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, yeah. been crying all day. Now you want to ask me these questions? We okay. Just Okay, so I started off by doing makeup. It was by default, um, just having low self-esteem, mm. and I went through some struggles. So I started off as a, a mask, and that quickly became a healing process for me. So I wanted to venture off and help women to look, feel, and be beautiful. Look, feel, and so yep. that was your story behind makeup. Wow, I started. Yep. Wow. Yep. And y'all, wow. she beautiful. And she okay. is beautiful. I mean, <laughs> skin beautiful, smile Jesus. beautiful, everything. Thank you. Thank Listen, you, thank you. and so why, besides doing makeup, and um, you being called to a purpose here, why are you here? Because you could have did the makeup and left. Yeah, um, I'm on a healing journey myself. Of course, life been lifing for everyone. So I am in the process of just going through life, but finding different avenues to be able to get through my healing journey without the same way. So just not doing things the same way, expecting different results. So I came here looking for a change, and I definitely found Ms. it. Mr. Sonda Laurel, and the spirit of prayer when I was a little girl, um, my mother is a prayer warrior. People don't like to talk about prayer warriors, but I don't have any problem talking about it. My mother was a prayer warrior. Her mother was a prayer warrior um, on both maternal and paternal side. So my mom used to wake me up at 5 o'clock in the morning when I was like a teenager and basically command that I pray at 5 o'clock, and I did not appreciate it at the time. So I would get up at 5 o'clock, and initially I would fall asleep because I could not tarry long. <laughs> People of God, I did not tarry long. <laughs> but as I began to continue to pray, then it just became a part of who I am. I discovered that whatever you do behind the scene with God, that there is a powerful manifestation in the public, regardless of where you are in school, wherever you are in church, even, even simple things is getting instruction on where to go. So my foundation came from my mother training me up in the way that I should go. And then it just carried on. And the more that I prayed, I, I would talk to God, not just in my prayer closet, but I would talk to God just one-on-one. -on -one. So, my Lord, what, there was an unction in your spirit to move around the building the way that you did. What was happening? Do you even recall? Um, yeah. You're talking about when it, when yes. it went? Yes. There was a shift going yeah, on. Yes, it was. See, what, what, what everybody else don't know, this was birth in prayer. Mm. This was birth in prayer and 29 days of fasting and praying. So, and that, that's a part that Raquel did not share publicly. But anytime you see some, something like this happening, it doesn't just happen. It has to be birthed in the spirit first. And then you'll see a manifestation. What I saw and when everything started to change is there was a place that God had already told us that he was going to take us to in the spirit. There was breakthrough that he had already promised and showed us that was going to happen. So when I took off, I just obeyed the spirit of God. Mm. You know, I obeyed the spirit of God. Why did I obey the spirit of God? Because there have been times in my life when God would tell me to move and I did not obey God. And I've seen the consequence of that. Jesus. And the impact that it could I, I saw what he showed me, what my not obeying him could do. I'll tell you this, there was a time when I was in church and I used to be, you know, when you just, when you don't have a title and all of that, you know, when I was younger in church, I thought that the pastor, the preacher, the mighty evangelist, the state mother and all of that, that they were the ones that God would move through. But I spent a lot of time with God and oftentimes God would speak to me and he would tell me to do stuff and I was afraid to do it. There was this one time, this was, I was a young adult then, where there was a move of God going mm. on, and God told me to just go and walk back and forward on the altar and pray. And I was so afraid to do it. 
because I was afraid of what the people were going to say about me and the people were going to think that I'm too deep in it because that's what they used to say. That's what they say, you're deep. <laughs> uh-huh. right, yeah, right, you're too right. deep. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. So I was, I was, I was, I I used to be afraid of what people would say and what people would think. And then, oh, the pastor didn't tell me to do it, so I better not do it. So then God told me, he said, I disobeyed him that time. Mm. I didn't move. And I won't get into all of that, but God told me, if I tell you to quack like a duck, you better quack. You better quack. I'm talking about, baby, you better quack. You better start quacking. So I, I said, well, why would you tell me to quack like a duck? And he said, because it could be someone in your presence, in the midst, that is saying, if you don't want me to commit suicide, let me hear a duck quack. And if I put in your spirit to start quacking like a duck, and then you don't quack like a duck, then that person that just fleeced God, Mm. that just made a request to God, don't get what they need all because of my disobedience because I'm trying to impress you who I don't know. Mm. Because I'm concerned about you who I don't know. Mm. And you really need me to quack like a duck because you need to be free too, but you don't realize it. So I'm in a place in my life where... I don't have time for Obedience trumps everything. It trumps everything. Jesus. It trumps everything. So when I moved, the Spirit of God told me to move. And I simply obeyed.